The left arm quick coming in with a slip in play. That's up and through the field. That'll be the first boundary of the night here at Marvel. Four in a row, yeah. Oh. Straight up. That won't have distance on it, but the field is up as well. Oh. Brilliant. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Just when you thought nobody could get hands to it. So slower ball from, from Layla, sorry. McDermott got through his shot a bit early. Very high and tracking back and diving with the flight of the ball. That's a superb outfield catch. It's a little short and jumps all over it for... Six, eight, ten steps are really important to get yourself... Catch it, Mort. Up and just over. For a second, the Renegades would have been thinking they were being in for their second wicket. They know the conditions pretty well. Goes with the reverse once again and gets it up and over the infield. Skyed. Now, has he got enough on it to get it clear of the ropes? He certainly does. Catch. Boyce in the attack, and straight away Wade goes after him and clears the boundary as well for a Toyota 6. And once again, Wade, the first ball of oh. someone coming into the attack goes... Oh. Clipped away very nicely indeed. That's the way to finish off a 10-over block for the Hobart Hurricanes. They move to 1 for 76 after 10. Took it easy. Touch! Is there a chance Here's of another chance. classic? No, it'll be a straightforward catch. Josh Layla on the boundary line, and the Renegades pick up their second. Yeah, yeah. they're very quick to come off. Across his crease. Uh, this should be the third wicket for the Melbourne Renegades. Khan takes the catch. Wow. Through the offside, though. No protection out there during the power surge. Oh, that'll do. Ill-directed that one. I'd be disappointed with that, Evans. It was he went around the wicket and then he angled it. Calculated gamble. Yeah, short looks to go up and over the offside. The offside that we said he may not have been accessing that well. You're gonna bowl me to over. No worries, thanks for your time. No worries, thank you. Straight up in the air, Sam Harper underneath it gets himself a little bit caught up, but then takes the catch comfortably. The length a bit. Thick oh. outside edge and has flown away. Field is up, finds the boundary. Oh! oh. <laughs> Let's not worry about fours. Let's just go the whole hog. That is a Toyota 6. Goes to his favoured area through that oh. long... A really good scoring opportunity. Oh. The first one was probably the biggest still. That's through, through the infield and over the boundary line as well. Stump to stump from Evans and just opens up the front foot and finds the gap on the offside. Oh! And he has succumbed to the pressure and given a low full toss. I have everything unfolding. Oh, gets on the pads, that's through, that'll run over the practice wickets and for yet another Chemist Warehouse 4, that is a monster over. Oh, oh. Off the leading edge, straight up in the air and a nice little slide to take the catch, it's Sean Marsh. Goes deep in the crease, doesn't worry about behind the wicket because he knows that is his favourite area, it's a strength area and it's another Toyota 6. Through the offside. It's been good bowling. He's got to finish it off, though. Full wide. Does he find the boundary? No. Sutherland does well with the slide and throw. They will get back for two. So three twos to finish off the 20 overs here at Marvel Stadium. Oh, I think they'll be delighted with that score. Winning the toss, batting first. Put on a very competitive total here. Won't be, won't be easy on this pitch. It's taking a bit of turn. And a beautiful cameo at the end from Tim David. So wickets to Layla, Evans and Boyce, and I think we'll be talking about Evans's catch as well. Shot. Strikes that nicely. Don't worry about sixes when you can hit. 
deliveries like that through the offside. Nurse again just opens up the blade a little bit more. Lovely hands through the stroke for back to back. Chemist Warehouse for. Goes full, gets the outside edge and a finger tipper. Squeezes it through. Yet another boundary through the offside there for Seymour. Ooh. Wow. Enough of the fours, says James Seymour. To settle in with younger players in the team as Aaron Finch goes on the charge. From the offside to the onside. Oh. And oh my. And it was Thompson. He was in with the show. Seymour, and is, has it got to hand or has it just fallen short? It's can there. He seems the pretty confident. Umpire had a good view of it at square leg. That's a lovely oh. shot. We've seen just some classical drives. First from Seymour, now from Marsh. Shot. You've earned your really keep tonight, Mike Hussey, and Sean Marsh is earning his out in the middle too. Pinch looks to go up and long, and he does that nicely. Chases one, does Sean Marsh, and gets enough of it. Cuts nicely, backward of point. Oh. Oh, again. The back cut this time, Mel. <laughs> Goes to show the form the Melbourne Renegades have shown in the past, but with form like this from Aaron Finch and Sean Marsh. Finch has said two. I don't think you need to worry about because that has absolutely flown to the boundary line. And they get this. through. Sweep shot That's from right. Finch, and that will find the boundary as well. Working in boundaries here, Finch and Marsh. Yeah. Oh. Shot. Aaron Finch. Yeah. Oh, that's the <laughs> shot of the night for me. Yeah. That is a We've really, seen some really classy really shots shot. tonight. Watching on and cheering for the Renegades. Oh. Shot. Duck. Make Bang. you pretend to put your hands up, but get out the way. Yeah, that was powerfully struck. Oh, I think Finch has just got an error in his head. Yeah, there's 50. Oh, he gets it too straight. Oh. Does sand deep, and he gets pumped through deep mid-wicket by Sean Marsh. That's gap hitting, isn't it? That's hit that into the gap. Oh, leading edge is in the air, and it's taken. The power surge has worked for the spinner. A packed offside as well for Matthew Wade. He's gone straight away, has Aaron Finch. Oh. Thick inside edge, but finds Look the gap that. and oh. finds the boundary. To be there if he has to be in the last over. Well, he looks to go for the boundary line. He hasn't got all of it. Taken. Drops it short, finches onto it very, very quickly and hammers it to the boundary. Finchie goes after this one, though. Oh. And it's gone. Well, the heart rate has gone up for every Melbourne Stars fan going around the place and Melbourne Renegades fans. As Merlo looks to go big like Finch did, but has done exactly what Finch did and has picked out the fielder, this time short. Six needed by the Renegades. In the slot and drilled straight back. That's OK for the Hurricanes. It's found the boundary line. He can. And that is a sky ball racing around, and it's been taken by the captain, Matthew Wade, who has somehow managed to claw his team back into this. Sandy, who bowled well for the second one. So, match 52 in the Big Bash, and it went right down to the wire, the Hobart Hurricanes.